First Corinthians 6, the Bible said in verse 19, we're to glorify, or verse 20, we're to glorify God in our body and our spirit, which are the Lord's. I'm finding out in these latter times, there's a lot of people who claim to glorify God in the spirit. But somebody say, if you glorify him in the spirit, you glorify him with your body. This is a body gospel, not just a spirit gospel. Look around. There's a lot of people, they glorify him in the spirit, but their body's always absent. They got a double heart. They're double minded. They have a double standard. Their physical mouth says, I believe God. But then when it gets inconvenient and uncomfortable, they can't believe what they believe. They're absent. Their flesh is absent. Somebody say, when your spirit is really glorifying God, your body will be alongside of it as one. In other words, there'll be things you do in your flesh, with your flesh, with your body, if you're in the spirit, that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do with your body. Somebody say, God's a spirit. Yeah, we must worship him in spirit, but then in truth. Amen. John 4, 24. And a lot of people claim to worship him in the spirit and they're always missing. They're absent in their body. Their body is always missing. But oh boy, I got faith. I'm in the spirit. Hallelujah. But God says, even though you attempt to worship me in spirit with your absence, you're not worshiping me in truth because you have disobeyed my call for my saints to come gather together. Anybody hear the Holy Spirit? If you can go to Walmart, you can go to church. If you can go to the grocery store, you can go to church. If you can go to work stinking, you can go to church stinking. I stink every time I preach. Come on, somebody. I had air conditioners on in here. It wasn't on in here last Sunday, and uh, we sweated more then, but I still sweat even with the AC on. For JC, I sweat even, even when the AC's on. Somebody say, whatever else you can do, if you can do that, you can still come to God's house. Amen. But ain't it so easy? I, I, I'm going to quit using easy. I, it, ain't it so sleazy spiritually for people who can opt out when it's time to be in God's house? But if you see them at Walmart, go to Walmart this afternoon. You, if you don't see nobody at church, go to Walmart. That's where you'll find them. Your local Walmart. You won't find them at the local church, but boy, they'll be the first to tell you on the aisles of Walmart. Boy, I believe God. Ooh, I believe Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. One lady told another lady at Walmart not long ago. Uh, she said, uh, as they got through praying for each other, she said, uh, I go to church at Acts 29. And, and the lady she prayed for came to me and said, Brother Marvin, do you know so-and-so? And and and, 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 uh, and uh, said, me and her had a prayer meeting on the aisle at First Church. Church of Walmart. I, put, I added in First Church of Walmart, where some you know church members pay their tithes. But, but he, and, 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 and I said, who? I had to ask again. And they said, I said, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I said, but they don't go to this church. I said, they've come hit or miss. I said, but I ain't seen them in over a year. And that person came to church off of the reference of the Walmart Isle prophet who prophesied and prayed for them in Walmart. And I said, ain't that something? Here you are in the house. They said they go to and I ain't seen them in a year. You figure that one out. They're real spiritual, but they have no flesh. They have no body connected. They, they have no appearance. Their faith. They, somebody say they're in the spirit. They're always missing in the wrong spirit because if you was in the Holy Spirit you wouldn't be seen missing so much. Amen. Praise God. So if serving God can only be done when it's convenient and comfortable that's phony, that's fake, that's make believe. Faith in God ain't for just good times. I found out, amen, that's what empowers me to move forward even when everything says I can't. Amen. Only then is it really genuinely, truly defined as faith in God.